Hi guys, so today we're going to do a quick tutorial on changing over our buckles. So this is a centre pin square, this is a half pin round, so you can see that they're different styles of buckles, yet both are interchangeable and will fit onto the belts. So my very early style belts, I was using that kind of screw, so you need a flat head screwdriver. But more recently, probably the last eight months, I've used a Phillips head style um, screw. So when you're undoing your screws, you will need a Phillips head or the flat head. I can't remember what it's called. It's really quite easy to change them over. Um, I'll show you how. So I might do both styles. What You'll see there's always going to be two here. And you've got your buckle which will slide on and off. So I put a finger on, get my, I'm going to come up here, get my Phillips head, press in and unscrew. If you have one that for some reason isn't unscrewing, contact me and I'll help you out further. You can see that's just come out quite easily. The top bit will pop out in a second. Grab the other one. I'm just putting pressure from underneath so it's holding it in place to unlock it and unscrew. Now leather comes in different widths and thicknesses. So you are going to find from time to time that you might have one that's a little bit bigger than the other. Um, as they do come in two different heights and I just change them depending on the width and thickness of the leather so I can make sure that you're not screwing it in it's going round and round and round and it's not tightening up but these ones are both I think it's around a six mil six mil high sometimes they are a bit shorter and that's because I've got a thinner leather and it's just easier and it's going to get more grip so you literally just pull your buckle out there you go. If we're putting on a half pin, you want to make sure that your little duvy tongue piece is going to be at the front. I always stick that in first and then grab my piece of leather and just tuck it over. And that way you're like, oh, yep, yeah, look, that's on top. That's going to buckle properly. We're just going to put our screws back in. Now you'll notice I've changed, because I've changed styles. The, so I'm just putting my round one back in the top. You can see the hole at the bottom. It's in there. Grab my little screw. Pop it in. Again, I've got my finger underneath. And I am just screwing that one back. You don't have to go too tight. You just want to go tight enough. Now, because we've got the half pin style, we want to fix the keeper in there. So we push the keeper up between the two. See the keeper's now stuck in there and we're going to put our other screw. Put that one back on top, finger underneath. Sort of line them up. You can see that's going to fit really nicely. And screw that back in. There you go. Successfully changed over that buckle. Um, I'll generally, if you're buying another buckle or somehow you've ended up with the wrong buckle I'll make sure I send you little screws that are the same color so it's all nice and matching now just to show you how to put on one of these because these are slightly different if you bear with me I'll quickly unscrew again take these out little things and I think it's really good to get different buckles and different colours. It's nice to change up your look if you like me and you do a bit of silver and you do a bit of gold or you like a bit of rose gold every now and then. It's fun to change up your buckles as well. So I've slipped that off. Now with the centre pin buckles this is now not fixed. So this is loose. So either take it off to the point of this exercise I'll just let it drop down. So when we're putting on this buckle it can go either way, doesn't matter, you're not going to get it right or wrong. We come up, put the little doobie in, 
and then we're threading over. Oops, so it slipped out, that's easy, just slip it back in. You can see. And then you put your screws back in. You're not going to try and fix your keeper, you leave that loose, you put your screws back in and you're good to go. So there you go, that's interchanging your buckles. And um, if you, as I say, if you get stuck, for some reason it's not unscrewing, every now and then there can be one that's a bit tight, um, you can always send them back to me and I can fix them for you. Or shoot me a quick message and we can figure out if we can troubleshoot without you sending the belt back. Alright, thanks guys.